Um, we're just visiting. <laughs> this was at the damn tax <laughs> sale. Twenty dollars. <laughs> what do you guys think? He needs new motors. We have to do something here. I'll take this walk. I'll be back. Uh oh. No. I just want to see what it looked like if we killed the boy. You're just trying to tease me. See, now it looks like a real engine. It fits. Is this one mine? Does that have my name on? No, that's not my name. That's not yet. Oh, it looks really good. Oh, that looks better. <laughs> looks way better. <laughs> there's room for a carburetor. Gotta fill it. So when there's more weight, that means there needs to be more structural integrity. So doing the, the lip around the perimeter, that'll help it. But I'm wondering about the cup structure itself to the cross member. How strong is that actually going to be? That's going to be important to pay attention to. What would you recommend doing? Leave the mounts where they are. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. And you have to visually pay attention that there's not a, a fracture starting on those darn things. That's a bit of a concern. That's all I have about the 32. Then those mounts that go on there, they they truly do get in the way of the hose. Like I'm, I'm Ron Sedan, it's a 39V8. And uh, one of them is notched for the belt clearance because of uh, just the design of it. If the water pumps on a 32 V8 and was, were up on the head, so that angle of the belt came way up here. Now the angle of the belt is down here, and those mounts were not meant for that. So when you put the 32 mounts on it, you have to do some modifications. In the four cylinder, they had no problem because they just had one silly belt coming up. It is doable because Ron has it on the 39 V8 that's in his Deuce chassis with the original mount points the uh, sedan. I have a 32 V8 in pieces. So I've been buying all the pieces through the years. I have those mounts and Ron made a copy of them from scratch. And then when I put them on, I realized they have to be modified to clear the belts on the water pump, which is exactly the same problem. Now you may not because the water pump pulley is going to be forward and I think we'll be okay. The other water pumps, I'll have that leg on it, which they won't be there. You cut them off. But the pulley is going to be forward a little bit, and that will mean the belt is away from there. So you may not have any issues. I highly doubt that. Highly doubt that you won't have that any won't issues. That I won't have any issues. Yeah, but they ever were meant to do this. It's possible they're original, but I know I have two sets. One's on the car and one is where these things are kept. So how can you tell if they're original or not? Well, compared to the ones I have, these are different. Well, I'll just say they're original. All right, it doesn't matter. No one cares. And actually, these were never meant to go in this chassis, ever. These were meant to go in the wide chassis when Fenton made these. Because <laughs> of that problem, they have the same problem with the F1 box. Put it in my truck, I'll take it. You can take the <laughs> grill for the blower, that's fine. A lot of things, but means no. This is how I want it to sit, right? Yeah. I think it looks really good, but... <laughs> Just have a little bit of weight in there. <laughs> yeah, a little. Do you know where to get two more of these? This would be early housing. Yeah, that's the uh, expensive one. For the carrier <laughs> and the axle housing, which you could still use it's still for quick change. That's yeah. not a problem. So all you need to do is buy the kit. Yeah, the machining and all that, it's worth it buying just the lathe and doing it yourself for that kind of money. There you go. Use a lathe. You can buy a lathe. I have to buy one of those now. I don't know. Add it to the list. I think it'll it'll all work for now mm -hmm. until yeah, in the something future, happens. As you move along into uh, redoing this or redoing that, yeah. you have the capabilities of changing something. Yeah, and it'll winter. be open drive, a quick change. Every winter. Drive. Every winter. Upgrade. Yeah. We've got a rebuild season now. Do you like my seat? It's for my couch. I was like, man, these look like they'll fit perfectly. Very comfortable too. And this is perfect height for me in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is all I can afford for a seat. It's beautiful. You need to get an allowance. I need to get a sponsor. <laughs> Marry a rich guy. I want ox blood bread. Oh, that's stupid. I regret that. That color without the top is going to just burn you. Every time you get in the car, it's going to be stupid hot. So badass. What happened, Junior? What happened to you? <laughs> I don't think you need it to 
put a top on, do you? That's what the, the top snaps to. Yeah, but I was gonna make like... In the body? Hell no. Oh no, I hate that wood piece. I've seen people do it without that wood piece. Oh, well, that's what you want, do it. I have a piece of wood in mine. And I, I have mine is rolled with the uh, with that the pillow deal that's here. Yeah, I don't. That's that's part of. Well, you're not coming up to here. You're going to be here with the roll. I kind of wanted to use <clears throat> like this as a tiny little shelf in the back. This is going to be body color. This is all going to be body color mm -hmm. shelf. We'll put some black rubber in there to keep your shelf that's stuff. Us. Well, if you're going with the seat of this design, then this piece of wood here realistically doesn't have to be this high. And the roll could be, you could actually make it a touch wider, plus still have a roll then to give yourself more of a shelf in a little bit of redesign. This piece is below, or about the height of the tray. I want you to not see the seat at all, um, and still have a little bit of something of a shelf back here. Wait a minute, you're driving down the road. It's just you and the car. The water bottle's over here because you didn't want to use your little pocket. Oh my God. I have a cup holder in my car. In the like a real cup holder? No. no, it's a piece of aluminum tubing. <laughs> and that's where I put the damn water bottle right there. The female needs capacity of stuff. And where's my hat? On your head. When I, when I get out of the car, where do I put it? I don't know. I guess I've in never seen you. emergency brake handle. <laughs> I figured I'm going to be on video somewhere. Like <laughs> he gave me a list for Christmas. Hmm. A written down list of the bolts. And I was like, oh man, cool. Like a receipt. Oh, Never no ordered them. <laughs> Laura's cold, so we're not going to be able to hear. <laughs> That's the one that you were going to bring to Hershey for me. Remember? I got a guy who needs a 39 transmission. So the transmission the right for piece. the blower. And the right top, too. <laughs> I bought that the roaster for 800 and I told that old who? $800. He keeps track really, really well. Obviously you don't because you couldn't answer questions here, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> they were never meant to go on these engines. That was not why they were made. On the back here, you may say, made in Italy on the rear cover, on where, it's, where the word Scott is. This one's actually a bit more unusual than some of the others I've seen. Why is that? The back here has got this oval and a plate. This one has screw-in plugs that are hexagon in shape. It's dramatically different visually on the on the back side. T, supercharger of Torino, Italy. Mm -hmm. And when Scott took over, their first versions had this single row of bolts. This says Scott on the back, which is unusual. Then Scott re-engineered the design of the shafts internally here. When they did, this front cover now, there was a second row of bolts a little bit farther down. You, you were able to unbolt the front cover and literally take it off with the pulley on it. These, this pulley and this shaft continues all the way through, the rotor's on it, and the back of it is here. It's one piece. Scott re-engineered it. They now had two pieces where this snout literally came off and you had a gear that had three detents on it that this shaft located against the face of it with. That was an improvement, some believe. And the improved version, allegedly, they both work just as well. But this is early, this is an early Scott. So now what does like, something like this cost now? If you find a nice setup, it's in the five figures. Twelve to fifteen thousand dollar ring. That's what people would pay for. It. I'm not saying that's what you would ever have to pay for. It. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> My junior saw this one and he said dibs. <laughs> I will fight him. <laughs> You'll lose. <laughs> I mean, this stuff's not even hard to find anymore. It's rare. Yeah, it's one of those holy grails that one day you will probably have. I hope so. They'll take pity on you and look at your car. They're all gonna ask you. That top go down? Can you leave it? Why is that top on the car in this beautiful weather? <laughs>